hey guys welcome to my youtube channel um as you know me as the flash lane but i now call myself the plastic boy um i haven't made a video in forever um the last time i made a video was like last year october and um i went on holiday about a month ago i went to dubai i'll show you some videos of that in a minute and um i bought a new camera i bought the new sony nx5 which is brilliant it's like the quality is ridiculous like when i upload this video obviously you'll see the quality but i was using like a canon canon before and it was just really crap and uploading it i had to convert the files and then the quality went blah 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 but yeah anyway yeah the sony one's amazing and the quality is just really good but yeah um, i thought i'd just make a video because i really want to start blogging again and doing my videos because on Instagram people found me and being like are you making videos still can you do a video I'm just like mm -hmm. I used to do them last year but I don't think that was good they weren't as good quality so I didn't really like push myself to make any more because my camera was as good but now I've got a new camera I really want to make some more new good ones so you'll see more videos come with me soon if you do follow my blog which is I'll put it in the description bar it's www.theplasticboy.com and yeah you can follow me from there or you can go on my Twitter and that's at theplasticboy.com so or yeah so but all the links will be in the description bar but um yeah i went to the buyer last month and um i got so much more makeup there and i just got loads of clothes loads of different stuff blah 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 and so i thought oh i just need to start blogging again because i do some like exciting things now and again when i've got time off and um yeah i thought i'd just blog but um anyway um i put a video now to show you which what my trip in dubai was like and the beach and this resort so you can see that which is now. Okay, so I'm at Babla Asham. Hi everyone. camera out here I'm just at eye candy And then um, I've got loads of new products to show you, which I'll just go through quickly. And if you're wondering what foundation wearing today, um, I thought I'd be different because basically um, at Mac you get you go on this training called new product update, and they gave us a new mineralized foundation, which is the Mac Moisture SPF 15 foundation, and it's going to be replacing the old mineralized satin finish. So that's going to get discontinued. Well, it already is, I believe, will not stop making it. And this one's going to be coming out. I'm wearing it in NC 50. It's just like that bottle there. Hopefully it'll focus. It's just that bottle, it's glass. Um I'm not sure much else is in it. I don't know how to read that, but yeah, um yeah, it's a really nice foundation. It's not as glowy as the the mineralized satin finish was because the mineralized satin finish really gave you a really like illuminizing glow. But this one gives you like a sort of glow from within. It looks more natural and it looks a bit more toned down. But yeah, it's nice, it's sheer to medium. She is medium coverage, but um, I think I just wear this in the daytime, like if I was just going shopping or just going around because it's nice, it feels nice. And um, I've had it on since 12 o'clock and it's like 
10 to 7 now, so um, it has stayed on quite well. I've had to powder it with mineralized skin finish a bit just on my T-zones because um, it was just getting oily throughout the day. But I've only touched up like once, so I don't think it's like a foundation we have to keep touching up every two hours or every like an hour. So yeah, it's really nice. And um, primer, I've also been using Tom Ford. Um, it's a Tom Ford Illuminating Protective Primer and it just looks like that. Let me show you. And it comes in this really nice bottle. The packaging's beautiful. Um, you just twist it up like that and you just put some on my hand. Like that. And you get a lot in it and you just... You just spray it on my hand and it's quite luminous if you can see that shine. It's a bit like a Max Dro cream but in a primer, if you get what I mean. But um, it gives you that luminous finish. But I just use it all around the outer face. I use two primers which is really weird. And on the um, centre of my face, where I usually get really oily, I use um, a Makeup Forever or Matte Mattifying Primer, which just looks like that. Is that going to focus? Yeah. But um, if, you, if you've ever used the MAC Mattifying or like Gel in that little see-through case, I don't know what it's called, but um, it's sort of the same texture as that. So, um, yeah, you can use that as well um, if you want to dupe it. But, yeah, this is really good. Like, I've only been using it for, like, two weeks, but... I like it, you get a lot of products in it and you don't really need that much all over your face well because I just use it there, so... Yeah, and um, I've also been using... What else? Um, MAC Oil Control Lotion because before um, I worked for MAC um, I didn't really use a lot of their skincare because it's, I didn't really want to use skincare from just like a brand that's known for their makeup but um, I've, been, I've been using like Oil Control Lotion and it's amazing like this is put on before your foundation or even like you can use it as a moisturiser and then um, it just sort of dries up the area where you get really oily. I wouldn't put, I don't put it all over my face because I don't want my face to look matte. But I'm gonna put it like in the T-zone areas and like um, above my eyebrows and stuff. So yeah, that's good. Another good one. And what else? Oh, I bought this new Givenchy lipstick when I was in Dubai, and um, it's a new one. I don't know what it's called, but I'll put it in the description box. When I went to Sephora, there was like a massive campaign and like. It has so much colours and I got it in 101 beige and it's like a nude colour. Look at the casing. It's like amazing. It's like leather there. I think it was about £40, £45. No, it was £30 but it was like 500 dirhams I think. Or 295 dirhams. I'm not sure but um, it's a nice colour. Looks like that. Um, it's semi-matte. Um, it looks a bit to me like... Mm, half and half by Mac or um Taupe not Taupe no Taupe but a bit lighter than Taupe but yeah it's really nice um what else have I been using oh my god the new Mac concealer palettes are amazing um I think I've got two I use the light one and the dark one you can use these all over your face I use these ones for highlighting and just in the brow bone and um, you can use these two to get a really highlighted under eye. Well, I haven't done that today, but you should do it. I do should use um, NC42 and the Rich Yellow. Because in some of these um, palettes, you can't get them separately. Like in the dark palette, um, there's in... What is it on this one? I found this one, it's NW40. Um, oh, which colour is it? I'm getting confused. Um, I think it's like Orca. How would you say it? It's like the corrector there, you can't buy that alone. And there's certain colours that you can't get in here, which is a lot of things. NW43, that's it. You can't buy NW43 like in the studio finish by itself because they don't sell it, so you have to buy the palette. So they're really good. Um, what was I going to say about this palette again? Yeah, I think the palette retails for about £30 or £28. Um, they're really worth it, especially the dark one because you can use the orange to black out so like darkness, like any darkness, and then put like a concealer over it. So yeah, I just really like these. I think they're such like a good buy, especially like um, if you like the studio finishes, but these are just a bit more durable on the skin. They're easy more to blend because I know when you put studio finish onto like the eye or the eyebrows, you have to really, really blend it into the skin to get it like that really buffed out finish. But these are just a bit more like durable than the studio finish. Um, <clears throat> what else have I been using? I've also been using the MAC brow set, which <clears throat> my friend told me to use. Basically, before like um, do my brows, 
um, I sort of just like um, use this wand to just basically sort of set all the brows in place before um, you put any shadow on them or you just put anything through them or all your brows are just gonna stay put. So um, the matte brow set's really, really amazing. Like if you, if you find that you've got such like a lot of brows or a lot of hair, like your hairs are quite coarse. So um, I'll re definitely get one of these. I do um, different colors. I do like a brown, but it's like a bronzy brown. I think it's called Pugail or I'm not sure what it's called. I'll put the colours down and then I do like a sort of light one which is for like people with light hair and I do one called Boy Girl which surely can get in America which is for people with blonde hair. So yeah that's really good. That's the MAC brow set and a lot of people always ask me what I use on my brows like every day. Like uh, on my brows they don't look as good today because I've rushed them because I'm going out in a second. Um, I, I use Dip Down which is a MAC gel liner. A lot of people use that, like, like it's, it's really popular, but a um, MAC bought like new brow gels, which I liked it down, but I, I guess a bit more lighter in texture. And I'd use that just to outline the brow. And then I'd fill the brow in with Embark eyeshadow. Um, I used to use Brun, but um, Brun's too grey, and I think I feel that um, I didn't really like the colour. It's made my bra eyebrows look a bit grey and dull, so I used Embark because it's a bit warmer. And I'd use which brush? I used the liner brush to get the fine finish. It's the MAC 212 brush. It looks like that. It's just a straight sort of liner brush which you can use for um, eyeliner, eyebrows. Um, it's, just, it's a nice brush. It's like a ruler basically. So yeah, I've been using that. Um, what else have I been using? Um, I've been experimenting with eyeshadow as well. Eyeshadows as well. Um, I've got some palettes made up for me. I've got this one I was in Dubai. It's just a four quad palette, and the color is. That's. Let me sort of show you the colors. The colors are there. That's carbon. That's black tide. That's sable, and no, that's amber lights, and that's sable. And um, yeah, I was been experimenting more. Like if you go on Instagram, I did a smoky eye the other day, which I never used to do a smoky eye because at work you just get really creative, I guess. And then you feel like let me just try something new than just wearing foundation and concealer. So yeah, I just been experimenting with these colours. Really nice. I really like carbon and black tide, and that looks really nice over carbon, which is like a sparkly black. And what else am I using? I guess that's it, but um, yeah, I thought I'd just do like a favourites video, what products we use at the moment. And um, I'm going to do a makeup tutorial, which I'm going to film tomorrow. And I'm going to do an eyebrow tutorial, which will be on my channel by the end of the week. So um, if you want to follow me, follow me on Twitter, which is at the Plastic Boy, or on Instagram, which is at the Plastic Boy 2. Or you can follow me on my website, which is www.theplasticboy.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.